Okay, in order for us to upgrade uh, our 4G board and upgrade the firmware on it, um, we need to purchase a cable, which I'll give you the link um, right after this uh, short video. Um, and this was purchased from Amazon. Um, it's a USB to a TTL serial cable, which comes just like this. This is the adapter. You'll notice that there's a whole bunch of different color wires. What we're going to be doing is we're just going to be using three wires out of here. Um, and I've separated them. It's the red, black, and blue. And if you also look at the uh, adapter itself, it'll tell you, it'll show you that the red is your ground, your black is your TDX, your transmit, and your blue wire is your receive data. So these are the three wires that we're going to be using. Um, and this connector can go both ways. It can be connected both ways. So just be careful. What I normally do is I take the silver part that's right here and I point it towards my connectors so that I know I'm, I'm connected correctly. And then once we have the board wired, this goes into your computer in the USB and we can start downloading the information to the board. Okay, so I've taken a board out of a system just to make it a little bit easier uh, for us to take a look at what needs to be done. Um, and of course this board is not powered on right now. So first thing we want to do is we want to remove the three pin cable here. And we're going to just put this aside. What we're concentrating is on this three pin connector and also the connector right next to the three pin I think it's kind of a little hard to say so the first thing I want to do is I want to remove my little jumper and you want to make sure that you keep this in a safe place so that we don't lose it okay and I'm actually going to use my fingers on that one so here's the little jumper that I'm removing I'm going to put it on the side because we're going to need to replace that and now we're going to take our cable um, and I've already separated the three wires that I'm going to be using in this in this particular cable I'm using the red black and and uh, blue so I'm going to take my red wire and it goes into the first pin on this connector which is your ground and then we're going to take the blue wire which will go on the first connector on the right hand side of the little three pin white connector and the black wire goes on to the next pin right next to that Okay, so now that uh, the board is connected to our computer, we're going to go into Flash Loader, which I've uploaded to my desktop. And we're going to click on Flash Loader. It'll come up with this page here. Uh, you want to make sure that your COM port is selected. If it's not selected on your computer and it's ghosted, you probably don't have the drivers for the COM ports. Um, you would need to download those. Um, once we have the drivers downloaded, we're going to click on Next. It'll tell us that the target is ready. Click on Next again. Um, and Next one more time. It will... Um, Put the drivers right into this window, for download from file, click on next, and now it will start downloading the program to um, the board. This will take a few seconds, um, and once it's done, we'll get a green bar telling us that the uh, software has been uploaded already, and it's good to go. And then the last thing you want to do is just double check and make sure that it took your changes. Okay, and there's our green bar that's saying that download uh, operation was finished successfully. We're going to click on finish. And at this point, we can disconnect the board. Okay, so now that we're done with the upgrade, uh, we're going to take our white cable and we're going to connect it back to the board. I just want to make sure that the pin is in the right position. And we also want to connect and put back our little jumper that we removed earlier. Uh, so it's going to go back into the two pins. Okay, there we go. And now we're ready to fire up the board and, uh, and just make sure that the firmware took. Okay, I've installed the board back into my unit. Um, I've sent it a star 20 pound, um, just to confirm that it uh, took the new version of software. And I'm looking at my text that it just uh, sent to me. Firmware is a 4G, which is telling us we have a 4G board. And the version of software is V94. Prior to doing this upgrade, um, we were at V56. So um, this is just a confirmation that uh, what we just did as far as the, the firmware upgrade um, took. Um, this is uh, a, a good way of testing and making sure that we have the correct firmware in there.